Hi everyone, I'm Kristen, and today I'm going to be talking about developing even bow hand tone. Um, so obviously the bow is unequally distributed in terms of weight. Um, at the frog, it's heavier, and at the tip, it's lighter, generally. Um, so you need to learn how to balance your index finger pressure throughout the bow. Um, we use our index finger to push the bow into the string and sink in. So since it's heavier at the frog, we'll use less index finger pressure there and more index finger at the tip to balance it out. So here are some exercises that I find helpful in creating the sort of balance. Um, the first one I like to do is called a windshield wiper. Um, we use it to strengthen the bow hand pinky, which takes a little bit pressure off your index finger. So all you need to do is you will like push down on your pinky and then control it on the weight back down. You can do this a couple of times before you try like as a warm-up before you try playing your repertoire and then just play normally after that. thing I like to try to strengthen my pinky is play with my bow backwards. Same, um, same bow hold, just hold it at the tip instead of the frog. Since it's heavier at the tip, you'll find that it's harder. You push a little bit harder with your pinky. to control it as much as possible and when you switch back you'll find that it's a lot easier um, to balance I guess all right and the last exercise I have for you is lifting your index finger at the frog and lifting your pinky at the tip um, to really emphasize that balance so your pinky, uh, the purpose of pinky is to, um, I guess, yeah, take the pressure off your index finger and balance your bow. And since it's heavier here, you'll use less index finger and therefore more pinky. That's why you take it off. And as you get to the tip, you can put your index finger back down and lift your pinky. Finally, after you um, practice all these exercises, try and play normally and see how much you've improved. That's it for today and I hope you enjoyed.